Do you have children? Here we go. A son? A daughter? I do. Two little girls. Know the day my wife died. Her heart gave out. Sam found her. She. She passed in her sleep. Oh, wait a minute. He buried her so the boys wouldn't have to see her like that. The snow. It covered her grave. He erased it. Like she'd never been there at all. I'm really sorry for your loss. Thank you. I've tried to focus on our kids, but the past, it always seems to find you. True that, so true. Ever since Sophia, I've tried to keep our family from home, but we're falling apart, piece by piece. And now that Sam's hurt, and Greg's, I could really use your help. Your friend Pete oh. told me all about Norma, okay. about what happened. If she finds us, we wouldn't stand a chance. But you seem like someone who can hold their own. You've got a good thing going here. Safe house. Nice family. It's more rare than you know. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Children shouldn't have to see this. Greg. Never turned into one of these things, did he? Oh, shit. Are those... Whatever they are. Yeah. Yeah, he did. My boy. I should have never let him leave. Come on, Pete, back off. I love you and our Pete. Come on, just I, give the guy some space. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it together. But what if you just found out your daughters were dead? Oh, it's already happened. And you weren't there. You were miles away, safe and sound. Your kids need you to stay strong. You, you're right. I'm all they have. What? Oh no. Peekaboo. No. Shit. Oh no. Got it trapped like a rat. Find her. What if he dies anyway? Oh great, this is this is gonna be fucking brilliant, right? That's it, that bastard has to fucking die. Well, we've got the other way. I'll take the one near the garden. Go. Hope Pete can handle Randall. Oh shit, I didn't need to! Oh, where we fucking go? Yes, let's fucking kill this 
exhausted. yourself a golden goose. Jesus! Whoa! You don't mess around. <laughs> I like that. Does Norma know we're here? She doesn't even know I'm here. Otherwise, oh. you'd be hearing an Averly knock on your door right about now. Randall? Randall, are you getting this? You, uh, want to get that for me? We heard gunshots. If you don't check in, I'm sending everyone in that direction. Shit. She sounds pissed. Randall, pick up, goddammit. You gonna answer? Talk to her, Michonne. Don't make the same mistake again. Where the hell are you? Yeah! Randall! Tell him. Yeah, I got a few words for her. Hello, Norma. Michelle. Here we go. <clears throat> Where's my brother? Go on. Tell her. You're talking to me, not him. Don't be smart with me, Michelle. That wasn't what I asked. I want the truth on this. You hear me? I thought you. Shit, and you heard him. You so much as breathed on my brother, I'll find you and make what happened on the ferry look like a goddamn picnic! That's a fucking guarantee! I did. Know any good surgeons? <laughs> I want to look into that. You bitch! I will <laughs> kill you myself! Okay, 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 okay. Let's wind this down. If you've had his walkie-talkie the whole time, then you already know. We heard the shots. We know where you are. But if you let Randall go, maybe we can all walk away. Randall is the only family I have, and I'm not leaving him behind. No way in hell I'm giving your brother back. Not after all the shit he's done. This little game you're playing, I don't fucking like it. I fucking like it, so We'll be there soon. This alone time, you and me together, it's been real nice. But that all ends when my sister gets here. Don't be killing me at. I'm gonna take that wrench and break your skull. Then Sam's, then yours. And last yes. but not least, those kitties too. I saw their little heads in the window. Oh, 
happening again. Kids, you know, their skulls don't break so much as kind of melt. Guess I hit a button. Michonne. Well, hey now. Don't you two look like your daddy? Back when he still had a face. <laughs> what? Yeah. You got a big hole there now. Sean? Is that true? Please tell me he's fucking with us. Randall murdered your dad, Sam. No! <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they have to know the truth. James! Oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. He's gone off now. If he killed my dad, then why isn't this son of a bitch dead? First I agree. Good question asked all night. Michonne's just been fumbling around like a bear cub fucking a football. He keeps opening his mouth. He'll be dead soon. We should do it right fucking now! All she wants is her brother back. That's it. We're out of the equation. No. You need to no. kill him, or I will. Sam, wait! No matter what I say, you're just gonna do whatever you want anyway. I know you've already made up your mind. Right. Maybe you thought this was your girl? Ain't I the bell of the ball? Well, maybe that's you. Because when this dance is over, you're fucked. I'm fucked you're anyway. And no one hunts you down until you're all dead. Fucked! Let me live, and I do even worse. Fucked. But we both know how this is gonna end, Michonne. You like killing. And you'd like killing me, wouldn't you? Just tell old Randall the truth. I got thick skin. I'm sure you'd like to see me dead, too. If it's in the cards. Or maybe, maybe you think you can rise above all that. But there ain't no heaven up there, honey. And there ain't no hell down below. There's only this shit every day until you die. And you know what's the fucking kicker? You get up and keep walking. There's still a chance we can make things better. Don't tell me you still believe that lie, Michonne. He's trying to fuck us in. This this is the world your kids are dying in, Michelle. <gasps> what the fuck? Or dying in, or are in that fucking purgatory. Shut up. Don't talk about that. Either way, they're suffering. And mommy isn't. We all have our demons, honey. Oh, fuck me. I'm Some killing him. On the inside. I was getting fed up with him talking anyway. Okay, so I guess next episode we're running. Right? Here we go, right? What, what we got? What we got? I spent a lot of time in low, low places. Where you only have your thoughts for company. And those can be mean, nasty. You want to believe all lives and all deaths have a purpose. Believe me, they don't. 
It's true. Things always fall apart. But we're the ones who bring them down. Well, well, interesting. Where's she running from? Apart from fire, obviously. Okay, so what did we end up with? Uh, did you keep Pete with you all? Let him go off on his own. Yep, we stopped him. Did you pick up the phone or go after the footsteps in the hallway? Ooh, get to the phone. Okay, did you reveal to Paige that you nearly commit suicide? Yeah, it was just awfully good advice. I'm not going to admit something like that. How did you handle the radio call from Norma? So we picked up the radio and spoke with her directly. And what did you do to Randall? Guys, you are awesome. You decide to bash his head in. Whoop, whoop. There we go. We're done with episode two. Give no shelter. Now, it did seem a bit shorter than the first one. But I guess it was because there's probably more dialogue and choices and stuff going on rather than the first one where you could move around and just like search for things and you know observe your surroundings. But that was a good episode. It was a good episode. I can't actually wait to see how this is going to end now. I'm so gutted that there's only one more episode to play and that's it. Absolutely done. Benito. Done. Dusted. So gutted. But I'll tell you what, Samira Wiley, who is per se in what, Orange is New Black, she's been killing it. She's absolutely killing it as Michonne. She's, I don't know, it's like she's created this other, two, other side to her that you know you wouldn't normally see in the TV show. So many credits as well. You just forget how many people go working. But they're working this basically. Uh oh yeah. Well, that's been me playing this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. The third episode will be coming soon. Thank you for watching and take care.